Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today is my fifth video in a series of six on my experiment to learn how to grow oyster mushrooms. And I started this back in December. Today is March 28th. I've had a lot of success recently, so I'm going to show you the success. And I also wanted to explain some terminology and also show you how to prepare um, some boxes and containers to grow mushrooms now that I've learned how to do it a little bit better. The hi-fi or hyphy pronounced two different ways, I looked it up, are the thin-like threads that go through your growing medium. I'll show you a picture of that. Multiple threads are called mycelium, and right here I just broke it down a little bit. The branching filaments are called um, hyphae, and they are the main mode of vegetative growth. That's how your mushroom really grows and spreads out in your growing medium. Uh, collectively, if you have a bunch of uh, hyphae, they call that mycelium, and I'll show you what that looks like. So it's a little bit confusing, but what you're really looking for is this filament, white filament growth going through your growing medium, and that's how you know you're on the right, right track. So in the last video I talked about um, wooden dows that have been uh, inoculated with um, mushroom spores. They've already pre-started growing the hyphae, the mycelium, and then you purchase them in bags of 50 to 100, and this can cost anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars. This is the mode that I'm going to use to grow them. One of my goals is to figure out the simplest way to do it so most people can grow mushrooms without an elaborate um, sterilized room and, you know, big process. So I'm always looking for the simplest way to do it. From this bag, and you can see right here, there's a lot of growth. That's all different stages or different um, developmental stages of the mushroom. So, and I broke some out. So one question I have is this growth right there um, is about ready probably to spawn the oyster mushrooms. That's what you're trying to do. You start with a single dow like this that has the mycelium and hyphae on it, and then you put them into your substrate, which I use cardboard and straw, and then they start growing, you know, till they start looking like this. So I'm sure this is a phase. If anybody grows mushrooms, what phase is that, and what are these little tips on there. I'm, I'm guessing this is what will turn into the oyster mushrooms. So success, really, from just buying a bag of these dowels and letting them sit in there, they've started taking off. So let me move this out of the way. So what I did on February 8th, I put in some grain spawn, which are little pieces of grain which have spores on it, and that is supposed to be a way to grow your mushrooms. That wasn't working well, but what I did find is these, the oyster grains, started to actually work, but they take almost eight weeks to get ready. As the wooden dowels I put in on 228, and let me just show you what the growth looks like. So four weeks later, that's the hyphae, or the hyphae, and a collection of them are called mycelium, but this is spreading out all over the cardboard throughout the straw on the underside. So this is really getting close to progress to me getting mushrooms. And if I lift up in there, let's see if I go down another level, you see even more going on. And look, right in there is another stage of development for the mushroom. So everything is going really, really well in here. And this is going to be transferred into actually a bigger container, and hopefully I'll get mushrooms from that. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how I set up this type of container. I'm going to use some cardboard boxes and, you know, essentially plant these dowels into it. So I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, containers, and the different substrates that I've decided to use are hay, and pieces of cardboard and they both have to be sterilized. You can see how I did that in other videos. What I found is that I described before as having the um, substrate or the growing medium about as damp as a wrung out sponge. You want it to be a little more moist than that and with practice you can get there. I found the extra moisture really did make a difference. So I want to show you, this is the grain spawn. This is what I tried before and found this takes maybe about eight weeks to um, not really germinate, but before the mycelium or the hyphae to really start growing. So this takes a little bit longer 
the spawn plugs or the dowels only took about four weeks to really get going and growing so I prefer to use the wooden dowels. So a couple of different ways to get this set up is I'm going to use a cardboard box. Now you have to line it and you basically can take some saran wrap, lay one piece this way, one piece that way, make a cross and then set it on top and just press it down. That will line the box so there's not that much moisture getting to it. And eventually what I would do is once this started uh, growing the hyphae and the mycelium, I would press the plastic down and let it actually grow right into the box and use it in that capacity. So here's one that's set up so that the edges are protected. The other thing I found is you don't have to worry so much about the order of putting in your substrate. Because if you think about it in the wild, mushrooms will grow where they're supposed to grow and there's no set order. Before I showed you with the cardboard, you know, I took off different layers and then put them down on layers. You don't really need to do that. Just take the cardboard, make sure that it's, um, that you can separate it a little bit and then just drop it in there. So you can see that I'm going to have a couple of different layers of material on the bottom. Straw and hay. And then take some of your dowels. My hands have been washed to make them sterile. And I'm going to just drop two of the dowels right down there. Put some more cardboard on there. And just fill it up, trying to keep the plastic sides up. And this box is, again, another experiment because I enjoy doing that. The first two pieces were on cardboard. That's going to go right on the straw. On top of that will go some cardboard. Again, just keep the plastic up. And I don't recommend if it's your first time trying out, don't do it this way. This is just another experiment that I'm doing. And put some more right on top. And then this box will get closed and labeled and we'll see how that does. Now what I did before that was most successful is I just got these from the grocery store. They're made by Glad. You can get like, I don't know, four or five of them for, I don't, I don't even think it was more than five bucks. But these containers are perfect. So just take off a lid. You do want to seal up your mushroom so the moisture stays in there but they also have to exchange air and carbon dioxide and all that kind of stuff. Are there two here? No. So all I do is put in the tip of a knife, put in four holes and this is how I'm going to grow my mushrooms. Once they take hold in here like I showed you previously in the video I'll put them into something larger to, to grow to size. Cardboard right on the bottom. I'm going to drop in two dowels, the one that was already sprouting, so to speak. The mushrooms don't sprout, but that's what I'm used to saying. Another layer of straw. I'm going to drop two more on there. some cardboard. And one of the things when I prepared the cardboard in here is I just put it on its side and put it down to the bottom. I filled it with hot water from the tap three times, let it sit for about five minutes, dump the water out. And the reason I did that is one, it'll soak the cardboard, separate the cardboard, but then you can rinse out some of the glue that goes in there. After I rinsed the cardboard three times, I poured boiling hot water onto it from a teapot and that's just to sterilize and kill everything. Another thing of straw, I'm actually going to put in two more and then right on top of that some more cardboard and I'll leave it just cardboard so I can see what the growth looks like. So that's pretty tight. Press it down, there's enough moisture in there. Seal the lid. 
lid maybe. There we go. And I think in four weeks this will have the mycelium going through at the hyphae, all the white filaments that you're looking for. So this is my basic setup and what I've been trying to do is not have to be so technical that everything is sterilized, everything is um, done in a sterile grow room. I don't have time for that. I don't have the space for that. I want to be able to grow mushrooms. So this is what I learned in the first five videos that I think the um, dowels, the spawn plugs work best. Hay, cardboard work best. This container perfectly fine. I can go from the dowels to this and, and in about four weeks I'll have nice growth all through the container, all through the substrate. And now the sixth video probably be done in maybe four weeks and hopefully I show you how I'm picking mushrooms out of um, I'm going to actually use a clothing uh, clothes basket how I'm picking mushrooms out of it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www. <laughs> Yeah, www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and please check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.